The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. I want to make quite clear to you, brothers, what the message of the gospel that I preach to you is. You accepted it and took your stand on it, and you are saved by it if you keep to the message I preach to you. Otherwise, your coming to believe was in vain. The tradition I handed on to you in the first place, a tradition which I had myself received, was that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that on the third day he was raised to life in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, and later to the twelve, and next he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers at the same time, most of whom are still with us, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles. Last of all, he appeared to me too, as though I was a child born abnormally. And our response is from Psalm 19. Day discourses of it today, night to night, hands on the knowledge. No utterance at all, no speech, not a sound to be heard, but from the entire earth, the design stands out. This message reaches the whole world. High above, he pitched a tent for the sun, who comes forth from his pavilion like a bridegroom, delights like a champion in the course to be run. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth and life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father too. From this moment, you know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and then we shall be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? What I say to you, I do not speak of my own accord. It is the Father living in me who is doing his works. You must believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe it on the evidence of these works. In all truth, I tell you, whoever believes in me will perform the same works as I do myself and will perform even greater works because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord.